Alright, I just got into focus and the first step is to clear some space. So you can check your usage and space inside general and then you go down to usage and on usage you let it load and you can see it's loading right here. It's taking a while. Okay, so once it loads you can see all of your usage and what each app is using specifically. So you can see here that I have 4.5 gigs of music, 1.3 gigs of photos, and every other app is using some data. So one thing that you can do to clear some space really fast um, with each app is you can click on the app and sorry, you can click on the app and on some of the apps you can see here like Edmodo you're gonna have an option to delete the app. In a sense, clearing some space is essentially like deleting an app. However, sometimes when you delete an app here, it doesn't fully delete on the data. So that's where that's why you have to go to usage and delete the data here. The next thing that you could do is kill automatic automatic downloads. Automatic downloads make your phone really slow because there's always a background process running. So what you can do is you go to iTunes and App Store and you scroll down to automatic downloads you can see here automatic downloads and what you want to do is you want to switch off for music apps and updates and what's this going to do is it's going to require you to go into the app store yourself and download the app so it won't download it for you without you doing anything it might be a hassle but it'll help speed up your phone definitely now the third thing that you could do is turn off the blur. Now you can see here when you scroll down, well you can't see it on camera, but when you scroll down or put the notification icons, you can see a little bit of the background. Now this is taking up some space and using some process. So what you can do is you go to you go back to general, you go to accessibility, you scroll down to increase contrast and you turn that on. And now the blacks will be a solid black and it won't have to make a transparent notification bar. Now, another thing that you could do in this section is reduce the motion. So you click on reduce motion and you turn it on. Now this is, I'm not sure how, um, how much this speeds up your phone, but for me, uh, this motion right here gives me a headache after looking at it for a while. So when I reduce the motion, it has a nice blur rather than the the transition out and lastly is to kill background refresh background refresh is basically when your app when an app is constantly refreshing in the background as the name implies but as it keeps refreshing there's always a process that's running in the back while you're trying to do something and that essentially slows it down so in general again you're going to go to background refresh and turn that off and it says disable and no apps will be running when you're using an app now the last and most obvious thing that you could do is multitasking and delete the running apps that way you don't have one app running and from there your iPhone should be faster noticeably faster at least and as far as I can tell um, it's enough to do the job without upgrading to a 4S or a 5 which some people might not be able to do so yep, that concludes this video. Thank you.